think it's going to YouTube. Sweet. Or it's working, at least. Just cross your fingers. Hold your breath. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I see. I believe... Oh, my goodness. We're live. We're live on YouTube. Yay! Uh, <laughs> there we go. All right. Cool. Well, we've, we're finally live. Um, just want to quick uh, do an a introduction for tonight's concert. This is, I think, like Concert 7 in our ongoing concert series uh, here at NYC Guitar School. Tonight we have Daisy Press doing some really cool music. Um, Daisy, can you, can you give us a quick intro to what you'll be uh, treating us to? Oh, it is my, uh, my pleasure to treat you to this music, which is, uh, it's the music of Hildegard of Bingen. She was a nun who lived like 900 years ago. She was a composer. She was an herbalist. She was a painter. She had very mysterious and amazing visions. Uh, later on, Oliver Sachs actually, actually, Sachs actually wrote about her, talking about how her visions might have been part of uh, the fact she was a migraine sufferer. Um, but the Pope decided her visions were legit, and she really rose to prominence and composed. She was a prolific, prolific composer and composed these chants that were wild, and they were sung by the, the nuns who lived in, in her cloister in Germany, in Bingen. And uh, I think they have some really special power in them. They're a lot of fun to sing. I sink into a very meditative state when I'm singing them. I find them easy to listen to. Hopefully they're easy listening. I guess you can let me know. Um, but focusing on this, on these works of hers has sort of been the, uh, a really big part of my professional performing life for the last five or six years. And I've, I've uh, visited her hometown, Bingen, in Germany, and, um, and I, I'm just, I'm, okay, skip her. And I'm very, um, I'm just very inspired by who she w was as a person. She was a really formidable human being, and I think that comes across in this music. So um, I'm just gonna kind of vibe on one chant at a time. The first one I'm gonna start with um, is about Saint Ursula, who, uh, who was a, another figure about 600 years before Hildegard. Hildegard was 1098 to 1197. Ursula was another really big figure in the Catholic Church and uh, has this wild story containing many miracles about sailing across an ocean in one day and, you know, other miraculous things. Uh, but I'm gonna start with an Ursula chant telling the story of these ladies like sailing across the sea and and then we'll see we'll see where the rest of the chants go we'll see what i feel like singing thank you for being here cool great Excited to hear it cool and i think uh yeah at at seven o'clock there's going to be the chanting and cheering for new york city healthcare workers so that sound may come in and we may just clap for two minutes uh, joining the rest of New York City, which I think is a lovely move of solidarity. But um, I'll stop talking now and start singing. So here we go. Thanks for being here.
of a dark, so sort of dark chant. I would like to, uh, I would like to do something a little brighter now. Yeah. Oh, Skipper's right here. He's being a very, very good little oracle right next to me. Um, cool. I'm going to sing a chant called O Nobilissima Viriditas, which is about, uh, Hildegard really loved to write about um, forces in the universe and turn them into characters. And this is about this, um, in one of her visions, she saw this greenness all over. And the, the greenness was um, a symbol of the life force. It was a symbol of growth. It was you know, a symbol for flowers that grow. Um, but it was this character that was um, very healing in her work. And um, it was the Viriditas, that's what it was. But it, she loves to talk about how this greenness is found everywhere and it's just this, um, this amazing animating force. So let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna stay in the same key. I'm gonna do this in F. Okay. Oh, nobilissima Viriditas. I'm gonna do it in F sharp. Ah, that's a nice new color. Be. 
Thank you. I did that one for my mom because she's a really, really amazing gardener. Her, uh, she's always had a, a thing for flowers and been incredibly talented at growing things in her garden. The garden right now is unbelievably gorgeous. And I think with this veriditas and this green thumb, this old medieval concept, it makes me think of my mom a little bit. So mom, that one was for you. Um, but, mm. but by the way, th th the sound of our sizzling bacon. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> uh, Elijah said it went so well with uh, um, Elijah. Uh, Elijah said the sound of the bacon was so good with your music. I think that is so true and so awesome. And I should definitely do a track on my Hildegard album where I'm singing to a sizzling bacon drone. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> sizzling bacon. <laughs> That's amazing, guys. <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, just watching the time. I know in five minutes, the city is going to erupt in uh, applause and, and yelling for healthcare workers. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a part of it. I'm going to clap here too. I, I you know, invite you all to clap along at home. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but let me find, let me find a kind of shorter, a shorter chant. Okay, cool. Here's one. Here's one for the Holy Spirit, because, you know, why not? This is a beautiful one. It's, it's dark, but it has so much light in it. I'm gonna stay in this key. Spirit
Thank you. Six okay, we, we have to run out on our porch for a couple minutes now. Amazing. It's almost time. Oh, there it goes. It's starting. Should I turn up the microphone? Yeah, sure. Here, so maybe you guys can pick up on it. Yeah. For for those of you who haven't, mom and dad, for the or anybody else who's not in New York, for those who haven't heard this in person, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Oh wow! Yeah, no, it's it's coming yeah? back real clear. Yeah. There they go. seeing as I look out over the Upper West Side and there's some buildings up above you see all oh there they go yeah there's just all these people out on their roofs sticking their heads out of windows people on well not too many people on the street People ringing bells. New Yorkers are really cool. <clears throat> thank, thank you for sharing that. Even, <laughs> even in, uh, as you know, in, in my part of Brooklyn, we don't even we don't we don't get to, to experience that. So it's really really cool to hear. I know. I I know that you guys don't get to um, experience that. I was I was actually yeah I was I was with Athena last night when it happened, so she got to hear it on Zoom. Mm -hmm with me as well um it's yeah it's very special people being very brave and resilient here in the city um cool thanks thanks everyone watching for allowing that pause you know i like to take part in that new york thing it's very magical here when you get a view of so many people so many faces and windows um i think i'll sing a couple more chants I think I'm gonna do something, uh, I'm gonna sing my hardest chant. I'm gonna sing the hardest one. It is, it is a monster and I love it. I think I'm gonna sing it old fashioned style without a drone, without like the safety of a bowl or my shruti box. I'm just gonna go for it. Um, I'm kind of sing it, you know, in churches they, oh, Tallulah's gonna join. Come here, honey. In, uh, in churches, they didn't necessarily use drones. They just did this a cappella. So I think, uh, I think we're gonna go for it. This is called O Clarissima Mata. It's, um, it's for the Virgin Mary. Um, it's really wild vocal writing in that no one else was writing like this in this time. And it is, uh, it's not for the faint of heart. Um, and there's this really beautiful refrain where Hildegard is referring to uh, Mary as star of the sea, which was a medieval, um, one of 
Mary's medieval allegories, and I just think it's such a beautiful, um, it's such a beautiful image. Anyway, um, let's do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get into it. Ooh. All right. Oh, clarissima mater.
makes me feel so good feel so good to do that <clears throat> I love teaching music I love singing music because we just enter into this state where time just gets a little a little better that's why I love teaching I'm always trying to figure out how to make how to get people into that state um, with me because it's something we can all uh, it's a place we can all go. I'm will. I'm gonna sing uh, mm, one of my very favorite, one of my very favorite chants. Um, also to the Virgin Mary. It's called um, O Virga Mediatrix. Um, yeah, in the in Hildegard's cosmology. The Virgin Mary is the, the mediatrix, the, um, the mediator between uh, the earthly realm and all of the realms beyond. So she's a, she's a very, very good negotiator. All right, cool. Yes, this is the key I want to be in. Let's do it. I'll do this and then maybe one more and I think, I think then we will go about our, our nights.
Thank you. Thank you. Okay. One more. Before we get one more in, just want yes. to throw a plug in for some of the, the, the cool things you got going on. Um, I've, I've already thrown in uh, on our face or not Facebook, our YouTube live um, uh, chat, uh, a link to your website just so people can find um, some more about uh, you and all the cool music you, you do. Um, you're also teaching a, a, a drop-in class that explores kind of some of the, the s things similar to what you're performing tonight. Um, I'll throw a link uh, for that into the chats as well. Do you want to give us like a, a quick blurb on kind of what that experience is like? Totally, yes. Um, so it's singing and meditation. Where singing and meditation intersect. And, um, and what, what the class is about is... Uh, is about you know, having the intention of just feeling your own voice. Um, and a lot of what I teach is, is based on what I do with, with this medieval music and also with Indian music, but there's not, you know, there's not a lot of pressure. I've studied this music for a very long time. What I teach in the singing and meditation class, first of all, I, I give you a, your very own drone. So I, I record my own drone here, and I give you your own drone, your own instrument to sing along with at home. So it creates this really lovely um, Indian or medieval kind of feel or environment. And we just very, very slowly, with call and response, meaning I sing, you sing, I sing, you sing, we explore a lot of what the, the colors are of this music, sometimes just singing one note for a really long time which is uh, a pretty cool spiritual practice. You know, like Zen Buddhism is based on just being with every breath, being with just the breath. A lot of what we do is based on just being with one note at a time. And, uh, and then maybe learning a little bit of some of these materials along the way, but in a really slow paced way where we just have an hour of breathing and singing and it feels so great. So that's what, um, that's what I'm really happy to offer to this community as a drop-in class. It's Mondays at 7, I believe. And, uh, and yeah, I, I love teaching it. Cool. Th thanks for the, the quick blur. And, yeah, it is Mondays uh, 7, 7 to 8. And, uh, again, yes. the, the link is going to be in the chat for anyone that wants to, to check it out. Um, Wonderful. But what's, what's the, the final, final piece going to be that you're going to mm. treat us to? Oh, yeah, um, I'm going to go with, with this really lovely chant. Uh, it's also from the Ursula chants and it's, um, yeah, it's, it's about, uh, it's about the, the purity of, of this, this saint's blood, basically how, how it's a peering and cleansifying thing for uh for everybody who follows her and it's uh it's just this very tender beautiful um homage to this person hildegard was obsessed with this particular saint as i'm obsessed with hildegard hildegard was obsessed with this person so it's called o rubor sanguinis it's one of her more chilled out and slow chants and it's a lot lower than than uh some of these other chants that i've done tonight so i think it's a it's a nice way to end i'm so happy that you guys were here tonight and uh and we got to have this moment together amidst all this and um and yeah so i'm gonna go into it thank you everybody
guys, Dan, Elijah, the whole time I was thinking about the bacon idea. <laughs> <laughs> I was just imagining how cool that would sound with bacon. I'm really going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to send you the track. I can't wait. Excellent. Experimental <laughs> art. That's so awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, Dan, Rob, everybody at New York City Guitar School, thank you so much for being such a wonderful, wonderful home during this time. Uh, our, every, you know, everything, um, all of our emails back and forth as we're figuring out how to make uh, this musical community flourish online as well um there's our meetings are so sustaining everything that uh is, everybody is putting into it is so sustaining so i'm i'm very grateful to you guys from the bottom of my heart it's really really special um thank you thank you for that beautiful music yeah that thank you beautiful. thank you very much David, for the the amazing concert is is uh it was fun to to hear you sing this this really unique music um thank and for you. anyone that uh enjoyed the concert now is the time to pass the digital tip jar um part of the reason why we're, we're hosting these concerts is um our, our teachers who are, are uh, all active gigging musicians have lost almost all their gigs and, and concerts um uh, so we're, we're trying to to help support our teachers uh, by by hosting these concerts to to help um just a spread their music but you know try and get them some some additional uh sources of income so i just put uh a uh link to daisy's venmo uh in the chat um you can give any any direct tips uh to, to daisy there if if you're able um but with that daisy press thank you so much uh for the performance uh, it was really really fun getting to hear you um and we'll have more concerts too um there's a, one next friday at seven that's going to be some originals by our amazing teacher joel uh and there'll be one the sunday after that uh with our other amazing teacher josh at seven o'clock doing funk and soul instrumentals so some really cool stuff going on um and thank you again daisy thanks everyone thank for joining you. us thank you rob thank you dan thank you mom and dad thank you for everyone else who's uh listening and watching it's my we've pleasure got, got everybody be well from, from facebook we got some applause here yay thank you athena all right. Thanks, Daisy. Okay. Thanks, Rob. Bye, guys. Bye.